Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de Pass. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's a special occasion, this, because it's the first match of the season. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, what an exciting match-up, Derek. Start of a new rivalry, and they'll both be so eager to take the bragging rights here on the opening day of the season. I can't wait for this. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Di Maria. Nicely timed tackle. And the PSG team looks like this. Kaylon Navas gets the nod and goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays to... Together with Kylian Mbappe. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. This is the scene here in the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Princes on a glorious day for football. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And every fan is full of hope on this particular day. I say that because it is the very first match of the new season. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, I can't wait to see how these teams match up. New campaign, new rivalry, it should be entertaining, and let's hope it's full of quality. And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so.
Excitement in the Parisian air. We're at the Parc des Princes here in the French capital. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And this is the day when every football fan is expectant and optimistic. Opening day. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this promises to be a really tough contest today, but who will steal a march? The winners will certainly take a lot of confidence from this. It should be a really good game. Bernat. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Kaylon Navas starts in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays together with Kylian Mbappe. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Kaylon Navas begins in goal. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Bernat as fullbacks. Angel Di Maria starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays with Lionel Messi. Not away completely. Well, spot on with that challenge. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Danilo Pereira. Di Maria now. Kimpembe. Bernat. This is Sergio Ramos. Danilo Pereira. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Messi. Kimpembe. Now with Akimi. Di Maria. Wijnaldum. Good technique displayed. Bernat. Danilo Pereira. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Committed challenge. Mbappe. And in with a real chance. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. So 2-0 now. Danilo Pereira. Wijnaldum now. Hakimi. Di Maria now. Losing possession here. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Neymar. And a chance for him on the flank. And the last touch off the defender. So a corner coming up. Couldn't keep it. Di Maria. Messi. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with... In with a chance! Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Mm. 
Oh, great attacking play. Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Hakimi. It's Kimpembe now. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half time. Kimpembe. Van Matt. Here's Ramos. Hakimi. Went in strongly, decisively. And unable to keep possession. Messi. I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. Neymar. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, it's not the usual storyline as regards Lionel Messi, Stuart. He's not really making the impact we thought he would before a ball was kicked. Yeah, he's been well marshaled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. So back in business here and PSG dominating the proceedings in the first half. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Di Maria. Verassi now. Ramos. Now can they make something happen? But nothing comes of it. Mbappe Messi and snuffing out the danger incisive pass from Mbappe oh it was a close run thing but the goalkeeper just got there first Neymar might really be able to trouble them here. Di Maria. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Di Maria. Sergio Ramos. What an important piece of defending. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Messi. Messi. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Messi. Kylian Mbappe. Really digging in at the back. But still the opportunity. Real chance. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, nothing untoward happened. Less than convincing defending. Mbappe. Can he finish? A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this! 
this. Three to the good now. Well, the ball is rolling once more. PSG dominant. And it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Neymar. Here is Juan Bernat. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Di Maria. Mbappe. Getting in there to intercept. Mbappe, but quick thinking defensively. And unable to keep the ball. Neymar. Mbappe. Ramos. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. A switch of play now. Kimpembe. This is Sergio Ramos. Jorginho Wijnaldum. It's Ramos. Neymar. Ramos and intercepts again well not far away from the final whistle and PSG very much in control well what can you say about this performance they've been absolutely brilliant they've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive not many teams would have stopped them today well he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort Kimpembe Bernat Mbappe Messi and the challenge halts them in their tracks Neymar can they convert a very timely interception can he find the net? And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing, just can't stop him today! Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Neymar. Van Nats. Neymar. Mbappe. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Fired in by Neymar. It hasn't come to very much. Counter attacking, very much an option. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Cleared away. It's Neymar's corner. And that will be all. Three points for PSG.
And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson, and getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, it was a good display last time out, and they'll fancy their chances again in this one. They really did play with so much flair and creativity. It will be interesting to see if they can match that performance today. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, far from the ideal pass. Ramos. Hakimi. Di Maria. Now with Hakimi. Kimpembe. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Neymar. Mbappe. Delightful pass. And it all counts for naught. An important interception. Promising position here for Di Maria. Not the best clearance. Determined defending. Neymar. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Found that. Wijnaldum now. Wijnaldum. Keeping it moving dynamically. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Feeling down here is that he twisted his knee when turning. He's been testing it out ever since, but at the moment... And Navas has somehow kept it out! The delivery from Neymar. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Mbappe timely intervention Van that tremendous intuition to win it back Mbappe well a good tackle
Kimpembe. Found that. Wijnaldum now. What can they do from here? Danilo Pereira. And nicely parried away. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Nice switch of play. Verratti. Running with the ball confidently. Hakimi. What a shocking pass, really. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, nothing untoward happened. Ramos. Di Maria. Messi. And Lionel Messi giving it away. Not really like him. Messi. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Intercepting it intelligently. Ramos. Here's Mbappe. Magnificent challenge from Danilo Pereira. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. And clears his lines. Verratti. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Di Maria. Kylian Mbappe. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And so the half-time whistle has gone here. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Di Maria. Verratti. Lionel Messi. Oh, potential danger. In there by Di Maria. Well, no problems defensively. And very deftly cut out. So a throw in here. Bad pass. Lionel Messi, an inability to keep hold of the ball there. Early ball in. Di Maria. Lionel Messi! Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Marquinhos. Well, pressing really high. Neymar. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Verratti. Ramos. It did look on for them, but not to be. Di Maria. Wijnaldum now. Messi. A very good tackle. 
Exquisite pass from Di Maria. There to take it away. Lionel Messi. Good tackle, take it away. Kimpembe. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Here's Ramos. And unable to keep possession. Messi. Here's Mbappe. Di Maria. Well, I'll tell you what, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Di Maria and it's Messi going forward what's he going to do next and he clears the danger Messi cross blocked Neymar not a bad pass it was Angel Di Maria has lost the ball. Messi. Less than convincing defending. Danilo Pereira. Did well to win the ball back. This looks threatening. Just couldn't capitalise there. Di Maria just 15 minutes remaining Marquinhos Mbappe well there to intercept Messi and smart defending Messi and he's broken free. Di Maria. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. Messi. Di Maria. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Messi. Alert defending. Five minutes left. Messi, chances on, and a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. PSG simply must be opportunistic with time not on their side. This could level it. Terrific piece of anticipation. Messi. He's in with a chance. Still alive. And the referee blows for full time. Whatever way you look at this, a real opportunity squandered to ram home their advantage. Three points dropped. And the title race up for grabs now. Yeah, it was a really disappointing performance, wasn't it? You could see how frustrated the manager was. He showed more urgency than the players at times. Could this just be the turning point in the...